Um, I was going to ask you, you know, uh, I guess Kristen getting closer to, to return um, and, and Adoree certainly a possible return. But, you know, when, when guys have, have been out so long like that or, or you know, in Kristen's case, not, not played in a long time anyway, you know, how much can you expect from those guys, you know, kind of thrown into the mix uh, later in the season? Um, obviously, it's tough, you know, when you haven't been playing, getting in there, just getting the game reps. You know, obviously, you're in practice, but it's nothing simulates getting out there and actually getting in the game. So, you know, we'll be excited whenever we can get those guys back to add them to the mix. But obviously, you know, we're just going to have to see how, you know, that goes and when we get them back. But, you know, nothing substitute for actually getting in the game and getting out there with game speed and being able to simulate that as part in practice is tough. But you know, obviously a guy like a Dory that has playing experience probably, you know, is be a further ahead as far as dealing with that as a rookie like Christian that hasn't had to go through that yet in the NFL. So, you know, just obviously just getting those guys back in there and getting them the game reps would be beneficial for us. Sure. Breon, I think Mike referenced the other day, uh, you know, the long pass that, that got Breon the other day, maybe uh, was looking to uh, – too much for a pick as opposed to kind of just making sure the pass didn't get completed. Is that something, you know, that, that you'll talk to him or have talked to him about uh, this week? Yes. Um, you know, obviously, and Breon has been playing good for us, you know, fortunately the other day at Justin, you know, he was in good position, just peaked back, you know, obviously we'll get that corrected and I, I'm sure he will, you know, I talked to him about it. So he'll be fine going forward, but I'm pleased with, you know, you know, Brianna stepped in and what he's done, taking advantage of his opportunities. And when you play this game a long time, you're going to have days like that is how you bounce back from it. Um, what made guys, you know, you know, successful in this league and being able to come back, you know, and put that behind them. Thank you. Uh, Terry. Anthony, what uh, has Malcolm Butler done that he seems to have settled into uh playing against the other team's top receiver most of the time and uh, seems to kind of uh, has, I guess, been playing a more consistent game this year. What do you attribute that to? I'm um, just Malcolm, just as his competitive nature. You know, obviously he wants to be on the team's top receiver. He takes pride in it and he works at it. And then, you know, obviously, you know, he's our best corner. So obviously that's what we're going to do when, you know, we need to do it. But he, t he, you know, he relished those opportunities where he get a chance to go against the top guys in the NFL. And that's what you want um, from the top DBs to, for those guys to accept that challenge to go out there and execute um, week in and week out. He admits that uh, playing zone is not his cup of tea, but how's he done at it this year? He's, he's been fine. You know, Malcolm, that's, you know, that's funny with him. He wants to play man because, you know, that's what he, you know, he wants to do, but obviously, you know, we, we do a lot of different things and he, he accepts that he understands that, but you know, it's, it's great when you got DBs that want to cover and go, um, you know, take on the challenge of shutting somebody else down and not always just want to sit in zone. So, you know, that's a great attribute for him to have. I love his mentality and that's what he's all about. Uh, Jim Wyatt. Hey, and coach following up on Christian, I mean, what can you do with him now during the stretch? You got to get the guys ready to play that are on the practice field, but uh, he, as he has returned and over the course of the last month or so when he hadn't been available, what have you been able to do to kind of get him up to speed and how, how has he kind of handled that? What's his patience level been like? You know, obviously when you, you know, you're in practice, you know, you got to take advantage of your practice reps, you know, and, um, when you're going against guys like Corey and AJ, you know, that's one way you can get better. So when we're in practice, you just compete versus those guys as much as possible. You know, obviously it's not a lot of reps, but the reps we do get a chance to go full speed. You know, he has to take advantage of those reps going against those guys on, you know, the offense to get him back to where he needs to be to be able to compete in the game. Uh, David Beauclair. Anthony, back to the uh, the long touchdown pass the other day. Anybody who plays in this league long enough is going to get beat that way, and we hear all the time cornerbacks have to have short memories. I'm curious how did how did Breon react after that? How did he how did he hold up the rest of the game? He was fine. I mean, he he took the coach and he went back out there. And he kept competing, and that's that's what you can ask these guys to do. Obviously, we'll continue to watch the film and study how we can be better, not just Breon, but as a unit. But, you know, you just got to continue to learn from it. Don't be what we call an error repeater, make the same mistakes over and over again. So, obviously, you know, going back to the game the other day, you know, Cleveland did a good job. You know, we didn't play our best. And, you know, I hats off to them, but we just got to move forward, get ready for Jacksonville, who has some talented receivers, and we got to get ready to go and um, get ready to have a successful week this Sunday. 
Uh, Joe. Yeah, Anthony, I apologize if you've been asked this, but back back on Christian, you know, you know, he's obviously worked a lot in the slot. You guys have Desmond now. Like, is it a situation where you could plug him in, you know, anywhere you might need him moving forward, or uh, you know, like is he is he able to play anywhere on the field for you guys right now, or or is that sort of still extra work needed to get him ready for that? Um, we'll just continue to evaluate it and see where we are, you know, where we can, you know, see where he fits in. But, you know, obviously he just got to take advantage of these reps and practice of getting healthy. And then we'll just see how we go from there when we're able to get him back on the field. Uh, Teron. Yeah, Coach, looking at the uh, the second Colts game as well as the Ravens game, uh, you guys were better on, on third downs, but then it kind of came apart. Uh, in, in this this past game against Cleveland, what what were some of the ways that you could kind of compare and contrast what you guys were able to do and not able to do uh, in, in those three games? Well, obviously, like you said, we were playing well. We were starting to improve. And then obviously this week, we just didn't play as well as we needed to play. And, you know, we'll go back and evaluate what we're doing from a coaching standpoint and see what we're doing, executing wide from a player standpoint. But we'll just continue to evaluate that as we're, you know, game planning for third down. But Obviously, the last couple of weeks prior to this game, we weren't making improvements. But, you know, this week, you know, not just third down, was a lot of things that didn't go well. And the hats, you know, off to Cleveland. And um, we'll learn from it, improve from it, and then hopefully get back to where we were playing, you know, at a high level and improving on third down this week. Is that something that, that you want to get back to, right, being able to challenge the receivers and, and, and play them at, at, at the line the way that, that, that you were at times? Absolutely. You know, the guys, you know, they took it, you know, that's what they've been doing. And we've been doing that a lot, you know, more, you know, successful the last couple of weeks, you know, but then it came this week. We just, you know, we just owned it. We didn't play well. And the guys know that I didn't coach well. I got to do a better job of coaching and put them in better positions. It's not just the players that start with me because I got to put them in positions to be successful. And I'll continue to do that. We'll continue to do that as a staff. And we'll continue to work to, you know, get us where we need to be to get a victory on Sunday and be successful on third down and other areas of the game outside of third down as well.